I tried bullet journaling for three months, and all I have to say is, Ai Chihuahua. Hi, I'm Jay Sejo, designer of my very own dog collar brand, The Dog. These collars have amazing fun colors and designs. I hope you check them out. You'll find a link to my shop in the description below. As I scrolled through YouTube watching videos of my favorite artists, I noticed that some of them were creating these beautiful spreads on their planners. It was creating beautiful works of art for every month. I thought, wow, this is so inspiring. I should try it. Sometimes, getting something on the page is the most difficult thing to do as an artist. You want to draw something, but you can't really think of anything. And since I already knew that I would be drawing a calendar, the days of the week, and space for notes on tasks I do every month, it was a great place to start. I was already getting things down on the page. I found that it was so relaxing. My ideas would just flow right out of my mind and onto the page. I started out by sketching with watercolors just to get my creativity flowing. Of course, the first theme was beach theme. You may or may not notice that this is a common theme in my artwork because I want to live on the beach. But that's a subject for another video. Anyway, beach balls, seagulls, and wooden signs were the main motifs of my first month. I tried regular markers, but they would just bleed through. So I rummaged through my marker stash and I found that my Arteza fabric marker seemed to do the trick. I was super happy with the way this came out. I just love the seagulls by the sunset spread. That one was my favorite. Next, for July, I had the colors in mind that I wanted to use, but I also wanted to add a character. So I decided to draw this cute little flamingo taking a break with a cool drink. I did get some specialty markers for this that have minimal bleed through, but I decided to use my Arteza color pencils for a lot of the coloring in. These color pencils worked really well and I found that it was less stressful because I hate it when the marker bleeds through, even if it's just a little bit. Overall, this project was really inspiring, but I found that I need at least three months to look ahead so I can plan out my life. That would be really time consuming, and the whole point is to organize myself so I have more time, not less time. So it didn't really work out for me. I found myself going back to my original planner time and time again.
I did draw out the sketches for the month of August, but I just didn't have time to color them in. I don't think that I've completely given up on the idea of becoming an avid bullet journaler, but it'll take more planning on my part. And next time I think I'll draw out some stickers and use that instead of drawing everything out. I think it'll streamline the whole process. I did, however, find another way to plan out my month and do a brain dump in a totally fabulous way. I will do a follow-up video with how I did that, so please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you would like to see that video. How do you plan out your month? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!